Hello everyone. Welcome to another session on IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to write a code to control a pneumatic cylinder. Today, I have invited one of my friends, Mr. Nadeem. He have amazing YouTube channel related to automation. I have provided his YouTube channel link into the description of this video as well. I would request you to subscribe his YouTube channel. Let me invite Mr. Nadeem to talk further about today's topic. Thanks, Norman, for inviting me to your YouTube channel. In today's session, we will be making a small program to control the pneumatic cylinder. In fact, we will write a simple logic to turn on and off the pneumatic cylinders five times. So, without wasting any time, let's get into today's tutorial. First of all, we will discuss what are the inputs and output devices which are connected to the PLC in today's tutorial. Obviously, today's topic is regarding the pneumatic cylinder. So, first thing which we are going to discuss is pneumatic cylinder. As you can see that this pneumatic cylinder has two read switch installed on it. One read switch is installed at the back end of the cylinder and one is installed at the front end. The back end read switch is connected at I0.1 PLC input terminal and front end read switch is connected at I0.2 terminal of the PLC. What are these read switch doing here? Read switches are used to detect the position of the piston of the cylinder. Whenever the piston comes in front of the read switch, the read switch detects this piston and send a signal to the PLC. Whenever the piston moves and comes in front of the front end read switch, the front end read switch will detect the piston and send a signal to I0.2 input of the PLC. And whenever the piston comes back, it is detected by the back end read switch. And this read switch will send a signal to I0.1 input of the PLC. Now, this cylinder is pneumatically controlled by this 5x2-way solenoid valve. Its coil is connected at Q0.0 output of the PLC. So, whenever the output Q0.0 is turned on, the cylinder will move forward. And whenever the PLC output Q0.0 is turned off, the coil of the solenoid valve gets deactivated and the cylinder will move in the backward direction. Next, you can see that we have a push button which is connected at I0.0 input of the PLC. We will be using and programming this push button to start the process. Furthermore, you can see that all the wires are connected at the terminal strip. You can see here that the front end read switch of the cylinder is connected at I0.2 input of the PLC and the back end read switch of the cylinder is connected at I0.1 input of the PLC. In today's tutorial, we are only using one output from the PLC. As we have discussed earlier that we have connected the solenoid valve coil at Q0.0 output of the PLC. As you can see that all the control wires are connected to the PLC. Now let's go to the Cymatic Manager software and try to write the program for today's project. Now I will explain the program for this application. In the first rung, we write the program for the start push button. As we know that the start push button is connected at I0.0 PLC input. So whenever we press the start push button, it will turn on the start bit M0.0. This start bit will not only turn on but also it gets latched on because of this normal open contact M0.0. If you notice here, this normal open contact is having same address as of this output coil. So whenever this output is energized, this normal open contact also turns on and it will latch on the M0.0 start bit. Now this start bit can only be unlatched or turned off whenever M100.3 counter done bit is turned on. As we have used normal close contact here, whenever this M100.3 bit is on, 
this normal close contact will be open and it will unlatch the start bit. In the second network, we have done the programming for the cylinder movement. We have used the same start bit here and whenever the start bit turns on, it's this normal open contact will be closed. The other thing you can notice here, we have used a positive edge detection bit here, which is 100.0. This means that whenever this start bit M0.0 is turned on, its rising edge or its positive edge is detected by this bit M100.0 and it will turn on or activate the cylinder output Q0.0 or 5 by 2 way sunlight valve is connected at Q0.0 PLC output and once this output is turned on its normal open contact is also used here so whenever this Q0.0 PLC output is activated it gets latched on through this Q0.0 normal open bit. So we can summarize here that whenever the start bit is turned on, on its rising edge Q0.0 cylinder will be turned on and it gets latched on through this bit. And as the Q0.0 bit is turned on, the cylinder starts to move forward. So here we have used I0.0 forward read switch normal close contact. This means that when the cylinder piston reach the forward end of the cylinder, it is detected by this forward read switch and this will unlatch the output Q0.0 and it will deactivate the cylinder. And as the output Q0.0 for the cylinder is deactivated, the cylinder will come back to the home position or the backward position. As you can see that in the last rung we have used the start bit M0.0 normal open contact. This normal open contact is coming from this coil M0.0 start bit. So whenever this is turned on this normal open contact will be closed. When the cylinder comes back towards the home position or the back position it, its piston is detected by this back read switch I0.1 and this bit gets closed and as this bit gets closed it will energize or activate the output Q0.0 and our cylinder will start to move forward and again when it's reached the forward position this output gets reset from this forward read switch and this sequence of cylinder forward movement and reverse movement will be continue until this start bit is on. Now as we discussed earlier that we have to turn on and off this cylinder 5 times. So we make a counter program in the network 3. Here we use the normal open contact of the read switch I0.2 which is the forward read switch. So whenever the cylinder moves forward it is picked up by this counter. And every time this switch is turned on this counter is incremented by 1. And we have given the set value for this counter 5. And this counter can be reset to 0 at any moment from the bit 100.3. The current value for this counter will be stored in memory word 10. So at any point if you want to check how many times our cylinder has turned on, we can check it from the memory word 10. We have used a comparator instructions here which is greater than equal to and what this comparator instruction is doing it is comparing the two values one is the memory word 10 which is the counter current value and we are comparing it with the 5 this means that whenever our counter value is equal to 5 or it is greater than 5 it will turn on counter done bit which is 100.3 two things we are doing from this counter 10 bit which is 100.3 number one we are resetting this counter value as we have used m100.3 counter 10 bit at the reset input of the counter so whenever this bit is turned on it will make the current value of this counter to zero the next thing it is doing is that we have used its normal close contact here so whenever this bit is turned on, this normal close contact will be open and it will unlatch the start bit. 
and this will stop the cylinder movement and deactivates the cylinder so this is the logic we have written for the today's tutorial now we will upload this logic into the plc and let's see how does it works now we will write the program in the plc and we will monitor the ladder logic as you can see that as soon as we press the start push button i0.0 .0, on the rising edge of the start bit m0.0 .0, the solenoid valve q0.0 .0 turns on and cylinder starts to move forward as the cylinder forward read switch i0.2 turns on the solenoid valve q0.0 .0 turns off and cylinder starts to move backwards as soon as the cylinder comes back and cylinder piston is detected by the back read switch i0.1 it will again turn on the solenoid valve and cylinder starts to move forward again each time the cylinder piston is detected by the forward read switch, the counter is incremented by 1. When the counter reaches the value 5, it will reset the start bit and reset counter value to 0. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please do share, like and subscribe this channel. And till next video, take care and goodbye.